seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hey guys, today I have my uh, big friend with me. This is Cookie. I brought him because uh, I'm going to do a makeup tutorial about a bitch face. And he's so good at it. Like, just look at him. He doesn't care at all. See that? Ooh! If you want to see how I did this look, keep on watching. I already applied my moisturizer, primer, and foundation. If you would like to see what products I used, look down below in the description. Now I'm gonna start using the concealer. I use this one of MAC. It's a Studio Finish Concealer NW15 and I'm gonna apply it with this little brush. It's a... Uh, what brand is this? Tira Cosmetic Brush. It's kind of brandless basically. It's really tiny. And I'm gonna apply this all over my eyelid and in a V-shape because I'm gonna do an eyeshadow all around my eyes so I decided to do my concealer this time all over my eyes because I can use it as a primer. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're gonna blend it anyway. Uh, I prefer to blend it with my fingers because it's just easy. I do not need any brushes. It works perfectly fine. So when I finish doing my concealer and I look like an albino almost, I apply baby powder. I apply it under my eyes because I already put on concealer and I want my concealer to stay in place while I'm doing my brows and the rest. I apply it with a beauty blender. Since down here everything is under construction, I'm gonna start doing my eyes up here. I'm gonna start with the eyeshadow. I'm gonna use Booty Call. This is from the Naked Palette 2. And I'm gonna apply it with the brush of MAC 242. I'm gonna apply this color right below my eyebrow. After I've done this part of my eye and it's shimmery, I start applying the Deep Brow Pomade on my eyebrows from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color taupe because it's still baking here so I'm trying to work up here. I'm using this brush also of uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills, it's number 7. So I start applying the pomade down here to make a bow and at some point I start doing it above and after that I start filling it in slowly so I suggest you should take tiny amounts of product so you don't have too much or you have different spots and try to keep it coming in between if you have a little brush so you can spread it evenly. Now that I've done my brows, I'm going to basically highlight my brows on the top with the same concealer that I used before to basically make it look like they're, uh, you know, like a little angel that always has that thing on his head with light coming off of it, something like that. I'm going to be exactly against the brow line because by doing this, you can basically determine the last shape, the, the final shape of your brow. So if you got a little bit too much or something went wrong somewhere, you can uh, still fix it with the concealer. Now that I've done my brows with the concealer, I'm busy here anyway with the concealer. So I am going to make a V-shape here. Well, it doesn't have to be a V-shape. You can yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. And a tiny line over my nose. And I am going to blend it with this one. Now I'm going to blush off the baby power with this fluffy brandless brush that works perfectly fine. And I'll be back for the eyeshadow. Finally time for the eyeshadow, my favorite part. I'm going to apply the color Limit. 
It's from Urban Decay Naked Palette number three. And I'm just going to apply that with a really, really fluffy brush all over my eyelid. Next, I apply Nooner. It's also a matte kind of eyeshadow. It's kind of a bit darker than Limit. And I'm going to apply that over the lower part of my eyelid so I've done the other color all over my eyelid well except for this upper side and now I'm going to basically do it until here so not completely now that I got here it's supposed to look kind of like this I am going to apply the same color limits that I just used with the same brush that I used for this part uh, I'm just going to apply it just below my eyelashes below my eye well right here now i take the brush from naked palette 2 because i like this fluffy brush it's pretty firm and i'm going to blend everything together now that i've blended it i'm i use this side I turn around and I use this side. I'm using the color Blackout. Well, that didn't work really well. So, the color Blackout, it's from Urban Decay Naked Palette number 2. I am going to apply it in the corner of my eye. Don't put too much product because it might fall off of it and you do not want any black under your eye. After you've done something like this, you're just gonna blur it all out, blend, 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 so you have like a darker corner at the outer eye. I applied two layers. Since it's a bitch look, I wanted to make it more intense, so that's why I put a second layer over it. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm using my Wonder Pencil of... NYX. It's not a white pencil, it's like beige, creamy, and I'm going to put it on my waterline. As you can see, my eyes look uh, bigger because I put a light tone of pencil, of well, color, on the inner eye. And now I'm going to apply a little bit of eyeshadow right over here to make it look even more fabulous. I'm using this one of Jade. It's the palette Beige Glam. I bought it in Russia and I love this one because it is really pigmented. It's shining. It's awesome. I'm going to apply this color with this brush that I used before. Now that I'm done with the eyeshadow, I'm moving on to my face, my skin. I'm using the MAC Nude On Board Pro Longwear Bronzing Powder. I'm going to use it right over here to contour a little bit. It's a fabulous color and I believe it's a limited edition from MAC. So I'm applying this with my L'Oreal brush. Highlighter time! I use one of MAC, Soft and Gentle. I'm using this little brush and I'm going to apply it right here. And of course a little bit on my nose and a little bit above my lips. Time to set my whole face. I use this finishing powder of Makeup Forever HD powder. I apply it with this big fluffy brush all over my face. I am going to do my upper lashes with the Max Factor Velvet Volume. And my lower lashes with Maybelline Colossal Volume Express because this one just gives much more volume and since I'm going to put on eyelashes on my top lashes, I don't need that much volume there but down there I want a lot, a lot, a lot of volume. Well, as you can see, the only thing missing from my eyes is my fake eyelashes. I'm going to put on these. 
I sincerely have no idea what brand it is. I'm very sorry. I bought these, I think, a couple of years ago, and I'm not a kind of person who uses lashes that often. They could be from Primark. I sincerely don't really know, but I will put them on my eyes and I'll be right back. Now that I've applied my eyelashes and this one is acting weird, but I have no idea what's happening with it. Maybe it's the cheap lashes. Maybe it's my scar that I have here, which is why my eyes are never completely even. One is more open than the other one, but that doesn't matter. I just applied prep and prime for my lips because it's lip time. Now I'm going to use the lip pencil sore of MAC. Now that the lip liner is done, I'm applying a lipstick of MAC. It's kind of sexy. It's kind of sexy. Almost done with the lips. I'm applying this on top of it. This is of Chanel. This is number 151. I do not think they sell it anywhere anymore because I bought it a pretty long time ago and it has a name that I cannot really pronounce. Levas Cintilantes. I hope it's good. So I'm applying a little bit in the middle of my lips to give it that glossy finish. So guys, this was my bitch face look. I hope you enjoyed me creating this look. Well, at least I did. Just watch out for the eyebrow that it doesn't get too much, you know, like... Well, I uh, hope you have a nice day and I see you another time.